This morning's homicide is just one of a string of violent incidents that have taken place on the city's west side. Tonight, neighbors held a meeting to discuss solutions. Our Chris Gothner is live on the west side with more. Chris? Well, neighbors had planned this meeting well in advance. It's timing certainly tough to ignore, coming less than 15 hours after the overnight fatal shooting. I'm here with my wife because we live in the community and we support it and we want to know what's going on. Robert Godea was part of a standing room only crowd at the Elver Park Neighborhood Center joining Madison police and community leaders to discuss violence on the west side. This morning's homicide, a single incident in a larger trend, not just here, but citywide. Homicides are already eclipsed last year and we're only in July. Neighbors getting the chance to speak their piece. This is something I'm really concerned about. They needed a space to talk about um, what has been happening in their neighborhood. Alder Barbara McKinney says while the overnight killing happening on the same day as this meeting is a sad coincidence, it's emblematic of the issue at hand. Just last week on Mount Vernon Court, for instance, a grandmother narrowly missed a stray bullet fired into her apartment while she watched her three-year-old grandchild. They come into this space with an added burden. Not only are they talking about what happened last week, they're also talking about the reality of what happened early this morning. McKinney says she hopes the turnout tonight reflects that this neighborhood has what she characterizes as skin in the game. As Madison's gun violence problem becomes more urgent each passing day. It can't be I, I'm just renting or I'm just temporarily staying in this neighborhood. You have to really say that this is my neighborhood. This tonight is an example of what are we doing now? Now, as for long term solutions, as one would expect, the issue of more cops on the streets came up tonight. That's something Chief Koval, of course, has been pushing for. Alder McKinney says, while the city cannot police its way out of the problem, more cops are on the table as the Common Council delves into the budgeting process in the coming months. Chris Gothner reporting for us tonight. Thank you, Chris.